5 Awesome Python Projects Hi everybody! If you're looking to become a full-time Python programmer and AI expert from scratch, then you are at the right place! Before I talk about Python projects in this short video, I want to emphasize one important fact. Python is big and complex. But the truth is, Python is easy to learn. The secret to learning Python is you'll need to key in every line of Python code yourself. Yes, that's right. Code every line yourself and run the code yourself. Do this every single time without exception. Another important point to note, never copy-paste code from your course content, textbook, or the internet, because your learning will suffer. Think of coding like playing the guitar. When you key in the code yourself, you are forced to think. And as you think, you are creating the right neural pathways in your brain. You'll start thinking like a programmer. The neural pathways will then allow you to turn ideas fluently into code with correct syntax. Let me repeat this. Type every line of Python code on the keyboard yourself. There's no shortcut. Do this one thing sincerely all the time. I guarantee that your learning experience will improve drastically and you'll make quick progress. I'll discuss five awesome Python projects now. Let's start with the first one. Project number one, expense tracker. Everyone has daily expenses, from groceries to utility bills, from everyday transportation to eating out expenses and more. With so many items to track, it's easy to lose track of your daily expenses. And many times, you realize too late that you've run out of money. An expense tracker is an efficient software tool that can help you watch your expenses. This simple tool can analyze your expenses and help you set a budget. You can then track your spending and make better financial decisions. Brief technical details. Some amount of statistical analysis is involved in this project. You will use PySimple GUI to create a unique interface. For building the expense tracker, you'll use the Pandas and Matplotlib libraries, which are PyData libraries. You'll use Pandas for data analysis and Matplotlib for plotting graphs. The graph will present you with a visual representation of your expenses. The primary data in this project is the inputted expenses. Project number two, weather forecasting app. The weather typically determines a lot of your activities. So an app that presents you with regular weather updates personalized to your needs can be very handy. Brief technical details. You'll use Streamlit, a Python library in this project for creating web UI elements. You'll also use Open Weather Map, or OWM, another Python library, to get the data on the prevailing weather, and Matplotlib, yet another Python library, to display this data graphically. This project is unique because you will create a web app with nothing but Python. This project is fairly intense, as it takes about 15 hours to complete successfully. Project number three. Build a COVID-19 updater. In 2020 and 2021, the ongoing coronavirus pandemic has resulted in several rounds of lockdown in many nations around the world. So building your own COVID-19 updater can serve a useful purpose. A COVID-19 updater is a tiny Python package that presents you with easy access to real-time coronavirus COVID-19 cases data. You can set up COVID-19 Pi, a Python wrapper, to retrieve data straight from at expdev07's backend. You can also set it up to use a different backend. Brief technical details. You need to simply run pip install COVID-19 Pi to install this package. You can then retrieve data from any one of the multiple data sources using COVID-19 Pi. To choose a particular data source, you need to pass it as a parameter. You can get the latest number of total confirmed cases, recoveries, and deaths by keying in latest equals COVID19.getLatest. And to get the data for all the locations, you need to key in locations equals COVID19.getLocations. Project number four, content aggregator. Content exists everywhere on the internet. You find content blogs, case studies, white papers, social media posts, and more. So content is king. To update your knowledge, you need to search for the latest information on the internet constantly. But checking all these sites one by one can be a difficult task. It's not only time consuming, but also tiring. A content aggregator can be extremely useful as it fetches information from various online sources and groups them in one place. You no longer have to visit multiple websites to get the latest information. Visiting one website will suffice. Brief technical details. You need to know the website from which you want the content aggregator to scrape content. 
You can then use the requests library to send HTTP requests. You can use Beautiful Soup to parse and scrape the content you need from the websites. Project number five, File Manager. If you've been using a PC or laptop for several years, the number of files on your system can be pretty high. Arranging these files and managing them properly makes it easy to retrieve them when you need them urgently. A file manager essentially performs these functions. This tool allows you to manage files and directories via a user interface. You can also copy, move, and rename files or directories. Brief technical details. You create a unique user interface using the PySimple GUI library. You'll use a powerful widget for this, but you don't have to deal with much complexity. You'll find the Shuttle, Sice, and OS libraries quite useful for this project. For more awesome Python projects, check out our book, Python Machine Learning Workbook for Beginners, 10 Machine Learning Projects Explained from Scratch, Machine Learning and Data Science for Beginners on Amazon.com. If you're interested in learning more about starting a data science career, then be sure to check out our courses in the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.